Hey guys, so a couple days ago, Lex of Tyrannosaurus Lex made a video about feeling like a loser friend, and then Rosianna, um, Miss X Rojas, made a video where she talked about being kind of like a drifter friend, and both of those videos had things that I was able to really kind of identify with, and I'll put links with them downstairs. And this is sort of similar to a topic that I've been wanting to talk about for a while now, so today this is a video response of sorts to them. I've never really had a ton of friends. Like, I've always had some friends, but in high school especially, there were a fair few people who, like, I was friends with in school and who I would talk to and hang out with, like, in class, in lunch, but I would never really hang out with them or interact with them outside of school. And then I had, like, just one small but solid friend group. I also have a history of being a terrible third wheeler, whether it's been a couple times when my friends were in relationships, or more often just, like, when, you know, some of my closest friends were then best friends with each other and I was just around. But anyway, in junior high I went to a different school than just about everyone at my elementary school, which was really good for me then because I was able to get kind of a fresh start and meet new people and, you know, get the beginnings of what would be my friend group throughout most of high school. And then I liked all those people and we had, you know, a pretty good thing going for a while, but I always just felt like I was on kind of the outskirts of the group and I don't know how much of that was like actual or how much of that was just like my own insecurities, but I just felt like I would get invited to any stuff that was like the whole group hanging out together. Um, but I didn't feel like I was doing any, like, smaller group stuff or just, like, being invited to hang out with one person. And also, a few people in the group had known each other for a really long time since, like, elementary school. And finally, there was just one girl in the group who I fought with all the time. Like, we were terrible frenemies. And when we fought, I spent a lot of time, like, seriously worried that this was gonna be it. Like, this was gonna be the last fight and we weren't gonna make up and I was gonna be done being friends with her and then the rest of the group would take her side and then that would be it. That would be the end of me having any friends. And that never happened, though that group did dissolve somewhat naturally, I think towards the end of my junior year of high school. And then that summer and the beginning of senior year, then there was a period when I was really only good friends with one person left over from that, and that was kind of a crabby time. And then what would be my new friend group was forming slowly and somewhat systematically like there was and still is a Facebook group. And there was a point where like everyone who I was sort of friends with, like all of my would-be friend group, had like a get-together at my friend's house and it really did feel like just all of my friends having a party without me. And so that was kind of rough and I still do give them a hard time about that sometimes, but very shortly after that I was like invited into that friend group and that has been my solid friend group back home ever since. And then that was all good and I think by the end of senior year I felt about as like cool as I'd ever felt and then I graduated high school and that was gone. And now I'm in college slash university and you know I have some friends, like I feel like there's big kind of group things that I am a part of and I have people who I can talk to and like ask to come with me places and I get along pretty well with my roommates. But I don't have the same kind of solid group that I had back home and I don't feel like I'm necessarily getting invited to like lots of small groupy things. Which can be stressful sometimes but then there's also the fact that I really kind of like doing stuff by myself. I'll go to movies alone or other events and stuff like that. I've done some actual traveling all by myself. And I do like interacting with other people and I like doing stuff with my friends and that's, you know, a different kind of experience. But I am almost always fine to do things by myself as well. And that's something that's probably partly born out of me feeling like I'm always on the outskirts, but it's also probably part of the problem. Like, if I don't want to go out of my way to do things with other people, then why should they then later do things with me? is a problem that I have quite a lot, actually. So I need to remember that sometimes I do need to make the effort to engage with other people so that I have friends and that I can have those social experiences, but I also think it's important and good that I don't need that necessarily, that I can be independent and I can do things by myself and still enjoy myself. Though sometimes I do worry that people will judge me like, you know, somebody who's doing stuff by themselves clearly just doesn't have any friends or nobody would be willing to do anything with them. You know, you don't see as many single tickets for things, so sometimes I do wonder about that, but whether or not there's any truth in like any of that aspect, I have always kind of liked identifying with being a loner. And not in any sort of like angsty or creepy sense, but I think once when I was younger we had like as a vocab word the word loner and I just, I really liked 
it as a word. And one time I was on a retreat or something with my church youth group and we were playing Nine Square and I was somewhat jokingly dubbed the outcast and then on another trip, you know, when we were playing Uno, the guys would gang up on me. And I don't have any idea whether or how much they actually viewed me as, you know, other or lesser, but I just remember really not minding the idea of it. And despite all of my current insecurities about being an outsider and being disliked, I really don't view myself as being other or lesser. I've just felt, for whatever reasons, just a bit left on the outside of things. And while at the moment, especially in college, I do wish I had some more meaningful connections with people, I'm really glad that I haven't let that lack stop me from doing the things I want to do and enjoying myself. So I think it's really kind of a double-sided thing. Sometimes I know I need to be the one to make the effort and I need to initiate something with other people, at least to start with, if I want to have those connections and those experiences. But if that doesn't happen, or for whatever reason I don't really feel like that right now, then I know I can still be happy. And I do think that I still need to work out the proper balance of those two things that works best for me so that I can have optimum happiness in my relationships and experiences. So yeah, sorry that was a bit of a ramble, but I mean, after Vita, you haven't seen me in almost two weeks.